Let's get it started. I will say I wish they had a different color swimsuit. I feel like the light pink is not the most flattering color. I feel like they should have chose something bright, but that's just me. Love her hair. That that performance is very safe. There was nothing wow about it. It was like, okay, that's good, but it wasn't like, dang, girl. Okay, she's serving with her walk. Beautiful smile. Okay, Texas is serving some sauce right now from the get-go. Love that. I can tell everyone's kind of awkward walking down the stairs, but how often do we walk down the stairs and heels not looking at the stairs? You know what I mean? She's cute. I wonder what they asked for. So for our year, some girls brought a lot of sass to swim, but then before finals, Paula told us that she didn't want that. She wanted classy and elegant rather than fierce. So we changed up our walks to be more like that. And I'm, I'm wondering if they told them something like this, North Carolina body adi adi girl, kill it. Nebraska. Mm. Yeah, they're not posing at all. They're just kind of going through real quick. I feel like this is probably so hard for the judges because it's just like, all right, next. I'm a Minnesota fan. I think she's so cute. It seems very confident. New Mexico is giving me Colombian vibes. I think it's the straight hair too. It's the look, it's all of it. She seems very confident as well. Oh, how is cute. She is giving face. I think I'm an Ohio fan. It's so subjective, right? So right now I'm thinking, okay, are the judges also an Ohio fan or do they think that she's maybe too much? Does that make sense? Like I said, pageantry, it's all so subjective. <laughs> Everyone looks amazing though. Let's go. Is this the final one? I think so. She's giving me very girl next door vibes. I 
Okay, yeah, bring them all out. Bring them out, bring them out. And the first one wasn't giving me wow in bathing suit. Kansas did give me a little bit of wow. Texas did give me wow. She was definitely putting on a show. Um, North Carolina, yes. Minnesota, yes. Ohio, cutie. They're coming so fast. Ah! This is hard. Okay, so are they going to a top 10 now? I don't think they're cutting it. I don't think they're cutting them for evening gown. All 12 of them are doing, going to do evening gown. Okay. Okay. We'll have to wait and see. Oh, commercial break. Yes! Let's go. Since it's presented by Giovanni, does that mean all of the gowns were made by Giovanni? That I do not know because if so, Giovanni has a stupid wide variety. Like, actually impressed. The gown parade. I feel like they just didn't want any songs because of copyright issues. I don't know, but this Chloe girl is amazing, so. New Hampshire. Okay, I love this dress. I feel like she was wearing something different. She definitely was. She changed. The first change, let's go baby. I like how it's see-through at the bottom. That's sexy. Bless Kansas's soul. This dress is not ideal for stairs. And that's something to think about if you're competing or preparing to compete. Will there be stairs? And if so, you need to have a dress that can walk downstairs just in case you never know what the stage is going to look like but again she looks gorgeous someone take her to an oscar she deserves to be on the red carpet oh another gold switch up okay kansas i will say i loved her dress or her gown yesterday a little bit more but this one is absolutely stunning I like how the stones kind of go down her chest. I don't know, that sounds weird, but I like I like the way it, it captures her silhouette. In Tennessee, same dress she wore, double slit, pretty. I wish she had a different facial there at the end. It kind of looked It looked a little too serious rather than inviting like a Miss USA. Okay, North Carolina, Starburst gown, let's go. She looks like she's feeling it. Oh, I also love her perky smile there at the end, how it kind of just seemed really authentic. Open and outward. That's what they say they want a Miss USA to be like. Someone who's approachable, you can talk to, can light a room up. So that was a great performance by her. I remember this gown. Who is this? Nebraska. Yes. I remember her gown. I remember last time she didn't stop.
during the prelims. And I was like, dang, I wish she would have stopped so we could have really captured her and the moment together. So let's see if she stops this time. It looks like everybody else did. So love, love the stitching up the side and the beading. Very different. Yes, this is what I was wanting at the prelims. Soaking in the moment. Another gold dress. Did she change? Did she have this dress before? I want to say this is a different dress, but don't quote me. She looked great though. New Mexico, another gold. Okay, is gold in right now? Everyone seems to be wearing it. I feel like neutrals are, are something that is safe in finals. I don't know why, but people always say like white wins or neutrals, I guess. Okay, Ohio stands out to me because her dress is so different. She's walking down the stairs the correct way to the side. She looks confident. Yes. This color on her is so good. Beautiful, but I feel like the tilt up, the way she did that, it's almost like I'm superior, I'm better. Not that she thinks she is, but I don't know if that body language will come off as confident or as arrogant. It can go either way. Different judges, different day might think differently. So subjective, but I think she did great. Legs. Illinois, yes, I remember this gown as well. Loved it. That has to be expensive, especially if those, it looks heavy, which means I think it's covered with crystals, which means it's very expensive. Again, at our competition um, in 2020, the most expensive gown was $20,000. So I'm interested to see which one costs the most within this. I want Connecticut's gown. I love the slit. I love the Greek goddess vibe. It's sophisticated, it's sexy, it's conservative. It's, it's the moment, okay? Mm. Ooh. Okay, so they're gonna cut this down to top five. Ow, 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 a leg. I really like the Tennessee red one from the side. Beautiful. Also, I did like the piano for performance. Something different. I don't I don't know if they've had a piano performance, or at least not for a really long time. Top five. Okay, so now it goes to top five. From 12 to five. From 12 to five. Minnesota stood out to me. <sighs> Connecticut's dress. She stood out to me. Kansas stood out once she got down from the steps. I don't know if the steps are gonna hurt her or not. Someone else was wearing a gold dress that wasn't previously. This is so hard. It's also subjective. Uh, okay, but mine would be Connecticut, Minnesota. It was Illinois, Illinois, Texas, Kansas. That's what I'm going with, final answer. 
And I went with those because I couldn't remember some of the other states. And that means that my focus wasn't on them. Even though everything that everyone did, everyone was doing so good. So amazing. Again, so subjective, so hard. But that's, that's my top five. We'll see what happens. <laughs> okay, I'm like nervous. I also don't like picking because I don't like being wrong. And I know this is a situation where I could be wrong because it is subjective. This is why I liked math growing up. I liked math because there's always an answer. With this, there's not really an answer. Okay, here we go. Top five. 